Good morning, everybody. Dr. Garrett here for another morning study um, with Earl Nightingale's Essence of Success. This is the value of active patience. To a child waiting five minutes for the motion picture to begin, or counting the minutes until the family arrives at grandmother's house, can seem like an eternity. To talk to children in terms of months, to say nothing of years, is to boggle their impatient little minds. But as the years pass, a good measure of maturity can be said to be the degree of of a person's patience. And the older and hopefully wiser a person becomes, the more he comes to realize the importance of patience. He learns that it's a little short of amazing when it comes to the size and number of problems that can be solved by the passage of time. It's as though everyone is riding on the outer edge of a great wheel that turns very slowly, but that will, in time, bring everyone to his turn of great fortune, if he's doing things right. Often, Crimes of violence can be traced to nothing more than a lack of patience, and the number of broken marriages that could be heaped upon the same cause must number in the many millions. And how many times do parents later wish they had not acted or spoken so quickly at something their children had done? Every time a person admits to himself, usually much later, that he had made a fool of himself, he can trace it to a lack of patience. If he had only waited a while, everything would have been all right. It's been said that everything comes if a person will only wait. And it was Benjamin Franklin who said, He that can have patience can have what he will. And Horace Bushnell wrote, It is not necessary for all men to be great in action. The greatest and most sublime power is often simple patience. And de Maistre said, To know how to wait is the great secret of success. Not to leave out Shakespeare, who wrote, How poor are they who have not patience? What wound did ever heal but by degrees? But But patience is not passive and should never be confused with idleness and a phlegmatic insensibility. On the contrary, it is active. It is concentrated strength. It is perseverance. It is knowing that to perceive is to prevail. Aristotle wrote that patience is so like fortitude that she seems either her sister or her daughter. And Rousseau said, patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. A great life, a great home and family, a great career, a great business, a great accomplishment of any kind, all these come with patience. Patience with others, with the world and with ourselves. It is said that every day begins a new year for each of us. If you're in the mood for a little self-improvement, for turning over a new leaf, write the word patience someplace where you'll see it every day for the next, oh, say 50 or 60 years. You'll be amazed what this one word can do for your life. There is as much difference between genuine patience and sullen endurance as there is between the smile of love and the malicious gnash of teeth. If your turn has not yet come, keep at it and be patient. So I love how uh, Earl says that it's active patience. So patience isn't sitting around idle and just letting things happen and waiting and waiting and wishing and hoping for things to happen, right? It's not passive and should never be confused with idleness and a phlegmatic insensibility. On the contrary, it is active, it is concentrated strength, it is perseverance, it is knowing that to persevere is to prevail. You know, and so always moving, right? Always moving, but being patient, remembering to do that. So I like this. It's a great reminder to all of us that, you know, all of success is immediate if your patience is infinite right? So reality is, is you have to have infinite patience to realize your greatest successes. So on this Tuesday morning, all of you remember, it's all about patience. All right. You guys take care. We'll see you tomorrow for another study, morning study with Earl. Have an amazing Tuesday. Be awesome, everyone. This is Garrett. Bye now.